I had my dose. Enough of making useless things here in my workshop just for video purposes. This time I have a real little job to do, a useful job. And of course if this job is finished I will continue making useless things for video purposes. A friend of mine got this old trailer, he's got the uh, horses. For the city people watching this uh, video, this uh, thing is a horse. Uh, no, no, the, the brown one, not uh, the red, it's uh, not a horse. And food comes in this side. Show us your food inside. Voilà. Afterwards, after the transformation, the food comes out this side. So he's got this, uh, I think it's called manure spreader. I don't know, I had to Google it because I, I don't know the name of the, the thing. And as you can see in the picture here, he's got a little problem on this machine. So. I thought maybe we can make a bushing. The ideal should be to make a plastic bushing or a bronze bushing, but I don't have. I only have this tank of round it's heavy, heavy stuff. Ah, let's put it down. Let's measure it. It's uh, 70 millimeters. So. Uh, two inch and three quarters about and this is gonna be I think the ideal material to make this I'm gonna make a flange first I thought make it in two parts but I think it will be better in one part but before we start maybe show you my new stickers they arrived from Mr. Mechanical from, I'll check, it's Nathan in the UK. Nathan, you can see, I already put your sticker on my cheap door. It will come out nice with all the others. So, Nathan, thank you very much for your sticker. He sent me also a nice little note and two spares. There was also a little box comes from the United States, from Bruno, from the YouTube channel, Engineered 3D. I think Bruno, he's a nice guy, because there's absolutely no reason why he should send me this, but he did. I propose we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Let's try to get it out without breaking it. A beautiful little Sony camera. Oh, that's good. And a dial indicator. Look at this. Bruno, I want to thank you from all my heart. I have no idea why you're so kind to me because all I do is making videos for everyone, that's all. And I have also no idea how to thank you for this. Let's go to the lathe and make some chips. Damn, that thing is heavy. Oh. Should be a good idea to make it in plastic. In some foam or I don't know what. Because there's so much uh, stick out, I did not face it. I will do a little bit face work when the center point is in place. But for the moment, just center drill and then support it. And then we'll see. First I'm gonna take off a little bit this rust here. That will do. 
See on here. Right, clean enough. First, let's face it. I took my real safety glasses because this is dangerous. It's a 1.5 millimeter cut on. Uh, I check the RPM. Nine hundred and ten RPM. Chips everywhere, man, that's dangerous. Chips everywhere here, even on my little workbench behind my shaper. A real chips bombardment. I tried the finishing pass, a half a millimeter, but uh, it doesn't work like I want to. The finish quality is somewhere below zero. Give it a nice little chamfer in my boiling bar. Now I'm going to drill this uh, 16 millimeter hole in here and then bore it out. First pre-drill, this one is uh, 7.5 millimeters. There really was too much chatter in the system and the chatter came from the spindle of course with a tool uh, workpiece stick out like this it is more than normal so what I'm gonna do I gotta part this off clean it up a bit and then have the small part in the chuck normally you lose every precision when you do that but in this case it's not at all important of course I'm not gonna cut all through I'm gonna cut uh, maybe 80 or 90 percent if it works and the rest I will cut off with the angle grinder
these tool bits are really crappy they're too flexible and then the tool uh, wants to dig in in the material so I think I'm gonna stop with this cut it off if the angle grinder will be much easier I suppose you understand I still had to try even knowing that it doesn't work I shortened the tool bit so there was less chatter I slowed down the speed and it starts to work a little bit and then one moment a big crack and here's the rest of my tool bit so I think this is gonna go in the scrap bin because this is really not good quality over to the angle grinder because this drill bit 23 millimeters is really long and with the stuck out the stick out of the part I had not enough room to put my tailstock so now I drilled it out that's gonna save me some time let's go to the boring operations I have to take very light cuts and turn slowly slowly so this is gonna take forever that's not a good idea I have a nice piece of uh, square here and with this I'm gonna make a brand new shiny boring bar I have a new boring ball and here's the finished product now let's go back to this uh, horse uh, sheet trailer and see if it fits. <laughs> 